Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I'm very excited today because we've just received the latest beta version of Luna. And this version contains an API summing engine, which is something we've been waiting for for quite some time. So let's get to the review. There's always been an argument. Some people think all DAWs sound the same. And to be honest, I think they did until Luna came out. Now, the reason why Luna does sound different is because of the summing engine. So when it came out with the Neve summing engine, I thought it sounded fantastic. And that's what made me switch over to using Luna as my primary door. Universal Audio have always promised us that there were going to be other summing engines coming out. And I think everyone knew that API would be the next one to come out because there are so many integrated API plugins inside of the UAD platform. So when we got the beta of the API summing engine, I was really excited because I love the API sound. I love how punchy it is. It is different to the Neve sound where I'd say the Neve sound is more of a smooth sound and the API sound is a more aggressive, punchy sound. So what I'm gonna do first of all, let's, let's take off all of the API summing and let's have a listen to the mix without it. Actually, what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to take off the ATR 102 as well. And we'll just listen to how the mix would sound if it was going through any other DAW. And let's bring it in. The biggest difference that the API summing engine makes over say the Neve summing engine is the drums. The drums have that extra high end aggression that really punches through the mix. Let's have another listen, I'll take it off. And let's bring it in. And let's bring in the ATR 102. I choose my color. To me, this is an amazing addition to the already fantastic sounding Neve console summing. So we've got some of the same controls as we've got on the Neve summing. Now the Neve summing, the only difference is we've got the high impedance and the low impedance. Now with the API summing, we don't have that, but we still got the headroom and the trim. So you can control the amount of headroom that the plugin is producing and also level out your tracks so you're not creating any extra gain with the trim control. Let's have a listen to the difference between the API and the Neve. So here's the API. And let's switch it over to the Neve. And back to the API. Now the difference of the API and the Neve is a subtle thing. Are you really gonna be able to tell the difference in a mix? Well, I think some people can, but the Neve something sounds so good. And if you already own that, and you can't justify the API, I think stick with the Neve, it's fantastic. If you don't already own the Neve something, and you want to get into the summing, which I highly recommend, then the API is a fantastic choice. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button and you'll be notified as soon as a new video from the Studio Acts come out. If you have any ideas of other videos you'd like us to make, please leave your comment in the comments below. I'm Paul from the Studio Acts and I'll see you next time. Cheers.